the focus of, of this trip up here is obviously the, the wounded, injured and sick, men and women who serve the Nigerian forces to keep people safe. And uh, having founded the Invictus Games over 10 years ago, Nigeria was the first African nation to join last year in Germany with 10 fantastic human beings. And as we had a conversation with the Chief of De uh, Defence Staff a few hours earlier, he acknowledged the smiles on their faces and the fact that that opportunity, that moment, being part of the Invictus community, put a smile back on their face. So when you talk about lifting the spirits, that is what we are here to do. And we will build on that morale and show that anyone that is caught in the line of fire, that their life, despite injury, is not over. And that they, they and their families can continue on and that sport will be a very useful way for rehabilitation. We are a lifelong pursuit for good causes aligns with my own lifelong activity for improvement in the conditions of poor, vulnerable and underserved in our society. As governor, I have committed myself to bringing hope to the weak and vulnerable. Nigeria and United Kingdom have had long-standing relationships in the forging of Nigeria-British relations. Kaduna hosted some of the most prominent political and administrative officers from colonial times to the attainment of Nigerians' independence in 1960. The first British governor of northern Nigeria, Sir Frederick Lugard, chose to operate from Kaduna due to its proximity to Lagos, Kano Railway. Kaduna became the capital of former northern Nigeria in 1970. Today, Kaduna remains the political and cultural capital of northern Nigeria. From housing the West African Frontier Force during colonial times, Kaduna is now home to the premier division of the Nigerian Army, one division, and the premier base of the Nigerian Air Force. The Armed Forces Command and Staff, Fanny Jaji, the Nigerian Navy School of Armament Technology, and many other notable military institutions that are already placed in Kaduna as we're speaking. <clears throat> I wish to specially thank you for identifying with the Armed Forces of Nigeria and for your commitment to inspiring and supporting our troops. Your visit will definitely leave the spirits of our brave and resilient officers and men and women of the armed forces. As the government of Kaduna State, I have committed myself to the sustenance of the more than a century of this excellent relationship between our state and the armed forces. They are our strategic partners. We collaborate closely for the attainment of their constitutional mandates. They also play a vital role in ensuring security as a foundation for our key objectives in health, education, infrastructure, and social economic development, alongside the promotion of peaceful coexistence and togetherness. I thank you once again for coming to encourage our veterans, our soldiers wounded and in action, and families of our soldiers killed in action. We are grateful for your work toward creating a hope dedicated to the welfare of personnel of our armed forces. Your visit is evidence of your commitment to inspiring recovery, supporting rehabilitation, and broadening respect of our brave troops. 